And here in Bakersfield, African American communities calling for an end to the violence following this week's shootings. And 23 ABC's Alicia Patilla joins us live now at a local church sending out a message of peace tonight. Alicia? Yeah, local radio personality Danny Morrison said change is going to require more than just talk. And the pastor here at this church said it's going to require us to work together with police. We got to do more. I don't believe in just marching. I don't believe in just talking. I believe in acting. The recent police-involved shootings in Louisiana and Minnesota have put race relations and police brutality back in the headlines, amplifying the conversation here in Bakersfield and an outcry for change. I think the African American community should come together with law enforcement and try and bridge the gap that so divides us. After Alton Sterling was killed by white police officers in Louisiana and Philando Casal was shot to death by an officer during a traffic stop in Minnesota, Morrison wrestled with injustices and this question still lingers. I've never been to jail, never been in a cop car, never been in a holding tank or anything. I follow the rules, the laws to the letter. Am I going to lose my life if I'm just in the wrong situation at the wrong time just because of the color of my skin? I don't know. As two black men lost their lives and five officers have fallen during a protest in Dallas, grief has entered the homes of many, including Pastor Joseph Ed Jordan of First Christ Ministries, who is working hard to bridge the gap to solidarity. Well, my plan Sunday is to try and get the community to understand that violence is not the right way. Going out shooting innocent policemen is not going to solve the problem. Pastor Jordan will be here on Sunday giving a sermon about bridging the gap between the community and the police. I'm live in East Bakersfield, Alicia Batillo, 23 ABC.